It was a moonless night and I found myself driving along an unfamiliar road. The dense forest on either side casting long, eerie shadows. My car's radio had been nothing but static for hours, a constant reminder of my isolation. Frustration had settled in as I scanned the dial one last time, desperately searching for something to break the silence. And then, it happened. A faint, haunting melody that sent shivers down my spine. The radio had locked onto a station. But this was no ordinary station, it was an abandoned one. Broadcasting eerie, ethereal music that seemed to seep into my very soul. The haunting notes seemed to twist and warp time itself, lulling me into a trance. The forest around me grew darker and denser as I approached the source of the signal. An old building emerged from the shadows, its neon sign flickering like a ghostly sentinel, casting an otherworldly glow on the rain-soaked pavement. I couldn't resist the pull, so I parked the car and entered the decaying structure. Inside, the air was heavy with foreboding, and the room was filled with a haunting melody emanating from a dusty turntable that spun an old, scratched record. The place was abandoned, yet the music played on and there was no one in sight. As I listened to the ethereal tunes, I felt time slip away. The world around me losing its grip on reality. It was as if I had entered another dimension. One where the past and present were woven together in an intricate dance. Ghostly apparitions began to materialize, their spectral forms swaying to the haunting music. My heart pounded with fear as I watched them. The chilling realization dawning that I had stumbled upon a phantom radio station. The spirits of the past played their eternal tune, and I was an unwitting guest in their spectral realm. The room grew colder, and I could see my own breath in the air as the ghostly figures beckoned me to join their dance. My voice trembled as I tried to speak, but I was met with only silence. I was trapped in a time not my own, an intruder in a world of restless spirits. As the spectral figures drew closer, I felt a bone-chilling fear like never before. They reached out to me, their translucent hands passing through me like a cold, damp breeze. I was one with the music, one with the ghosts of the past. And then it happened. A sudden burst of static from the radio snapped me out of the trance. The room around me dissolved into darkness, and the spectral figures vanished into the ether. I was alone. Back in my own time, the abandoned radio station nothing but a distant memory. The realization hit me like a tidal wave. I had narrowly escaped a fate worse than death, an eternity trapped in a ghostly dance of the past. As I left the decaying building, I couldn't shake the feeling that the phantom radio station still existed, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the next unsuspecting traveler to stumble upon its otherworldly realm. Please consider subscribing to the Haunting Crypt Chronicles YouTube channel for a continuous stream of unsettling stories that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Subscribing means you'll never miss an episode. We release new stories regularly, each designed to immerse you in a world of fear, suspense, and the supernatural. Subscribing ensures you're the first to experience our latest tales. Don't let the fear stop here. Hit that subscribe button now and join the Haunting Crypt Chronicles community. We promise you won't be disappointed. Your next nightmare is just a click away. Stay haunted, and thank you for your support.